Well, this lesson I wanted to share with you how I like to use die cuts to make your brush o backgrounds really pop. And by doing that, you're going to find some really neat ways to incorporate background techniques that we've used. This is the gesso one with a stencil. This one is a background stamp that I just put some brushes on. That one was really easy. Remember this one was us playing with water, like doodling with water and then putting brushes on top of that with just lines and, and getting a really fun um, background with that. And then this it, more color play, right? So I have a mix of all the different backgrounds of what else can we make? How can we make these cards? Now, I'm not saying you should go out and buy die cuts or um, the materials to do this. I have it in my craft, you know, craft room. And I use my die cut machine a lot for things like this. So let me share with you some of the ways that I like to use them and we'll get started. Is this my big shot? This is my big shot. It's um, great for cutting out that. It's great for dies. And I have this die, and it's from Tailored Expressions. It will basically cover up if you have a mistake, if you have one that you, a panel that you just don't love. Um, these are great for that. We're special. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and die cut this. <laughs> One way, and then I go the next way, just so I can get a good clean cut. Okay. Now I'm gonna take this off, and then and let's say I really love this green, but it's like more than what I'd like. If I cut it to the right spot, you can see that then I have this really pretty brush background and then I can stamp something and then there's my card. So it's a fun way to use up some backgrounds that maybe you don't love or maybe you do love them, but you don't know what to do with them and you can put a die, a, a die cut over the whole thing. Um, this is what it would look like with the red. And isn't that really pretty? I like that contrast with the red. <laughs> Isn't that neat? And then you can put this right um, right in here and really make a nice card for somebody. I think that looks really pretty. Um, you can also do that with different other colored papers. Maybe you have this pearl paper that you want and that could go over. Uh, so there's a million, it's just fun. It's a fun way to use up some, some dyes and um, yeah, here's another one that, here's a card panel that I, I haven't really figured out what to do with. Um, you could do that for this card panel too. Um, and I don't think you even have to have this in the middle. I think you could do a very simple strip or something, but it just adds to it. It really adds, it makes the card look really elegant and thoughtful. I have this really fun die, die cut and it actually comes with the stamp. So, um, or it, it's the stamp and die combo. And so what I do is the die just kind of is like loose. It comes like this and don't lose this because this is what makes the stamp set so fun. Um, I just put a piece of tape right there and then I just stick it right here. Um, Sometimes I'll even stick it with the die, with the stamp. But um, anyways, I thought this was a cute little, <laughs> little thing that I could um, make some cute cards. And it's big enough that my thought process is, is that I'll just stick this guy right here and pop it up with some, some uh, like mounting squares or whatever, pop dots. And then this will be the card. And, and maybe some washi tape at the bottom. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Or I might even just cut it in half and then save this thing for something else. I don't know. But I really like it like this. So I think I'll probably just leave it like that. Um, so let me show you how that works. Um, because then I'll stamp this. And it's just a fun, it's really kind of fun to play around with. Okay.
So I just want to tape my tape my die down. Then I'll take my Misty. And I don't really care that this tape Okay, but now I want to save this negative spot because I'm going to put this grump. I'm going to put this die cut right here. It's called a grumpling. Uh, grumpy is the name of like this cartoon character that that came out. Anyway, so I mean I'm going to position this stamp right here. And then I can go ahead and stamp. Uh oh, nope. Maybe. <laughs> Let's see. Before I stamp on my die cut, I'm going to go ahead and just stamp on the paper behind it and see if I got the position right. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. And I don't really want to have to die cut this again. If it's not right, but I think it is. Yeah, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so now I'm ready to go. It's going to look, and that's just a nifty tip if you are new to Misty. Um, you can, that's a thing that you can do and make your life a little bit easier. So there we go. Now, if I wanted to, I could just add a nice little sentiment um, right in there. And I really like the, you're awesome, don't ever change. And so what I could do is I will just put this like right here. Straighten that out a little bit. There we go. I have a cute little guy. And now I will color it. I use the archival ink again I to so I can use a waterproof ink so I can color it. And I'll probably color it with brushes or I don't know, maybe I'll do colored pencils, but um, you get the idea. You color it and then you can just put it on this right here and you have a nice card. Let me show you another one that I thought would look really cute just so you guys can have an idea. Um, I already die cut that one, so I don't have to show you. But um, with these two panels, I thought would look really cool with um, <laughs> with this one right here. Um, it's a di it's a lion with um, and then uh, lots of different cute little sentiments. So I thought put the lion put the lion guy right here and then have like maybe a little um dovetail sentiment thing right here to say hey have a wild day or something anyways it'll be cute uh so with that here and i die cut this on right here and i can actually i don't have more than one stamp so i'm just gonna stamp it like this and But I'll do a multiple at the time. I like to cut a bunch, but um, I like to cut and then I'll just save the negative card part. And let's see where am I? 
Sometimes it's easier to like line it up to the stamp. And then lightly, very lightly, put it back into that spot. And I think I just pinched it up, but I think it'll work just fine. All right, I'm gonna, and then I'll do the same. And I need to stamp a little bit more on the. There we go. And because I cut more out, I can just do that same thing again and get a couple of these lions done. So I have two lions to work with. Stamp again. I'm all about making more than one of the same card. Even if the background is different, I'll make more of the same card. Like once you get the design done and you get your bright colors figured out, you can make kind of the same card but with different backgrounds. And that's what I like. And I'm gonna do one more just in case I don't like the coloring of those two. Switch it up a little bit. Okay. So I hope that this helps you see that you can use die cuts with your brush o, uh, backgrounds. I didn't do anything crazy. It was a very simple background uh, with a fun little stamp bit. So then once it's colored, which will be in the next lesson, I will um, then kind of pop them up and then we'll start assembling the cards. I would just kind of share with you um, how I started to 
<laughs> make them into an actual card. So with this one, um, I love brown and blue together. And I know blue is like a super popular color these days. So um, I painted the grumbling and I think I'm going to just pop him up. I'm going to cut this half off and then it's just going to be a smaller card, but I think it's really going to work for, for what I want. Um, and so then this one, I'm going to just pop things up. I might leave it the way it is because I really like this. Uh, and we'll see how it goes. And then this one, I really like the way this is compositioned. I had this kind of orange and the brown with the blue kind of pop a bit. And then um, I like this little sentiment right there. Good composition says that like two elements should touch each other. Uh, so that's what I did with this card. And I think it's going to look really cute when it's done. Um, same thing with that one. I wanted um, it to be kind of top heavy um, because I really like the background and I wanted it to just kind of uh, be its own little piece of artwork uh, on its own. So uh, I like to use pop dots. Uh, you can get them wherever. These I got at Michael's. They're the Michael's brand. Um, whenever they're on sale or they're my price point. I get them and I don't really have a, <laughs> I don't have a reason or a rhyme. I just do. Um, and I think I'm going to, I'm also using my tape gunner, my tape lighter is what they call it. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and put some glue right there. This is the scrap pieces of watercolor paper that I stamped the sentiment on. There's that. And then I can put my little dots on my, my little lion. And I put one on the ball of his hat. Kind of where the flowers are. There. I like that. All right. Now I can take this smooth off. And I'm just going to add this like right there. And now, now I have this really cute card panel that I will then put on to a card base. And maybe I will cut this a little bit down a little bit and then mat it with like some black paper or something. That might look really cute too. And then I have this stuff to, to save for a different card if I wanted to. Um, but for now, we'll leave it like this and we'll see. I always like to cut things down if I can and, and just... It, but I do love that background and I, I almost don't want to cut it because that background is so cute but we'll see we'll see what happens okay so this one is another one a simple same kind of thing I'm gonna I I already kind of arranged it to the way I liked it and I'm just gonna put some tape glue it right here
Okay. All right. So I'm going to cut some of my card panels down to size. I'm using my 12 by 12 paper trimmer. And again, I don't always measure and I'm okay with that, but I do know about where I'm gonna cut it. So I'm gonna cut it right there. Um, if it really bugs you that you don't know the measurements, it was <laughs> about three and a quarter by, by four. So, um, but you don't always know what your brush holes are gonna do. And like, I still have a nice piece of um, brush hole paper that I can do something with. And I'm gonna save it because I know I'll use it for something. Um, and then I can decide how I wanted to map this on the card. So this is a piece of cardstock, Nina White, uh, like 90 pound cardstock. And then when I fold it in half, I cut it in half and then I can decide, okay, I want it. I want to probably mat this with some brown paper and then um, maybe trim it up a little bit so then I know. And I just keep like one card base so I know kind of what I want to do. So now I know I can make a note to myself that I need some brown paper. Okay, for this, maybe I want it to be, yeah, just like that. And I think that looks very nice. I don't think I'm going to trim anything and I'm not going to do anything with it. I really like the way it looks. And I think for a birthday card, it's it's really perfect. So um, I'm gonna keep that the way that is. And then with this, here's my, and it's one big panel. So I don't think I'm gonna mess with that either. I really like, I really like having the colors right here and I like the texture and I think this will be really fun for a boy's birthday card. So, um, or a male birthday card, maybe not a boy, since the sentiment is more for <laughs> geared for a older. Yeah. Anyways, I think that'll be great. All right. So that's that is one way that I have been able to um, make some cards, and and let's get on to the next assembly part of the lesson and um, really find some fun ways to to use to finally make our cards. <laughs>